Hello everyone. This is a bit of a different video than you're used to on my channel. But I have an Ergodox. I'm going to give a little bit of a review and history of this keyboard. First off, it is created by Dox, a member of the geekhack.org keyboard enthusiast community. It is an open source keyboard. Everything about it can be found on ergodox.org. And I should mention as well that Docs isn't the only contributor. There are many others that you can find on the ergodox.org website. Well, a link to that will be in the description. It is an ergonomic keyboard. And to demonstrate this, let me get my Quick Fire Rapid keyboard by Cooler Master. So, what are the main differences? There's four main differences. The first, most apparent one, is that this is all together. This means that if we type properly on the home row keys, our wrists get this curling, bending sort of position. That's not very ergonomic. And obviously this is solved with the split design of the ergodox. We can position the two halves as far away as possible, or as far away as comfortable, and then also tilt them to our liking. Makes it very comfortable to use. The second difference is the way the columns are arranged. This Quick Fire Rapid uses a staggered column layout, as do most keyboards. This is carried over from the old typewriters, which needed to have a staggered column layout so that the type bars wouldn't collide. Nowadays, it makes little sense to still have this layout other than people not wanting to change. Well, the Ergodox fixes this with a matrix layout, meaning that the columns are straight up and down. This is nice because that's the way our fingers naturally curl. The third change, and this is an only an ergonomic one, but it's also an efficiency one, is the thumb keys as you can see down here. So most people, myself included, would dedicate both of their thumbs, our most powerful fingers, to the space bar. That seems very inefficient. On the Ergodox, each thumb gets several keys at its disposal. So that not only is that ergonomic, because we're spreading out the work among all of our fingers better, it's also more efficient for pretty much the same reason. And the last change, which is probably the best one, is that the Ergodox is fully programmable with up to 20, I think, layers. I'm not sure about 20, but you can have pretty much unlimited layers for the Ergodox. This means that any key you see here, you can make do anything you want. And that is very nice. So. It can also be a very personalized keyboard. So me, for instance, I like to maximize efficiency whenever I can. So I still keep this as a space bar. This I have as a layer changer. So whenever I hold this key, I can hit all the other keys and do other functions, such as spawn some arrow keys or use my F function keys or anything of that nature. This key down here I use for shift and this key I use for control and that's just so I can do all my hotkeys very quickly so let me get this out of the way and keep going on the history of the Ergodox so it's an open source design as I said about a year after people in the geek hat community led by docs started working on it MassDrop.com started organizing group buys for the product. So what that means is a lot of people at once are buying the parts for the Ergodox in order to save, you know, per unit. So you go on MassDrop.com and I think right now they're running their third round of group buys and they're selling kits. So you get all the parts to make your own Ergodox. Granted, you know how to solder. There is very light soldering. 
you have to do a bunch of through hole stuff, which is very simple, and some SMD work, but the SMDs are just diodes, as you can see here. Nothing too scary. I had never soldered anything in my life, and I was able to do the Ergodox in relatively okay time, about four or five hours, I would say. And I didn't run into any problems that you know were caused by my soldering. I did run into one problem, but it was a late night sort of stupid thinking sort of thing. The controller and power for Ergodox comes from the Tenzi, right here. Right there. That's also what allows us to program all these different layers and such. So on MassDrop, you can get all the components, including like an I.O. expander, some resistors, some capacitors, all the diodes, of course. Uh, you can also get your choice of three cherry switches: blue, or yeah, blue, black, and chair and clear. Sorry, I ended up going with the clear switches. Or if you want to source your own cherry switches, you can do so at a discounted price. I think you get, I think, like $44 off or something if you order without switches. Uh, you, also come, you also get the cables. So this is the TRRS cable used to connect the two hands. This is three foot long, so three feet, so three feet long. So you have plenty of room to position both your right and left hand. And you get a mini USB, the USB cable that you can find pretty much anywhere to connect it to your computer. You can also add keycaps for I think $37. They are blank black. DSA profile, which means, well one feature of DSA is that they're all flat profile. Made with PBT plastic quality. And just to demonstrate the difference in profile, here's the quick fire again. Uh, if you can tell, the different rows have different profiles. It's, I apologize for my poor camera work here. But essentially, as you go up and down rows, the shape of the keycap varies whereas all the DSA keycaps are the same, so it doesn't matter where you put it. One problem about the keycaps on MassDrop is that the main keys on the home row do not have any indicators. And I don't know why I'm showing you my keyboard here, because I actually do have indicators here. This is a keycap I custom ordered from Signature Plastics, known as a deep dish keycap. It has, well, let me pull it up again. I don't think you can really tell, but the center of the key is a little deeper than the other keys. And that allows us to find the home row. I do have some leftovers from my buy on, of uh, buy from Signature Plastics, and I'll have a link to where you can buy those in the description. And so the case, the reason you're able to see all of my soldering, is because the case is layered clear acrylic. So, you do not get a nice dark black box when you order on MassDrop. Now, of course, if you go on ergodox.org, you can see the designs for a different case in case you want to do that instead. The nice thing about this open source keyboard is you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. Uh, that is it, as far as I can tell of the keyboard. I could type on it a little bit just to give you an idea of what it sounds like, not that it's really going to be a good indication over the mic. Uh, I should mention that while I did order cherry clear switches, I did change the springs out. The clear switches have a heavier spring than the most popular cherry switches, so I went ahead and switched the springs on all the different switches out just to make them a little lighter. So after it's kind of it's kind of weird typing on it at first, going up and down and then using your thumbs so much, but after a while you get good at it and it becomes a very efficient machine to use. So I'm just going to type you know the common phrase, the quick ground fox, whatever, 
And you can see how my fingers move. So, it's very nice. Very good keyboard. Which I highly recommend. Um, I'm considering doing an assembly service for the round 3 on Mastrop. More details about that will be in the description if you are interested. Uh, that is all. Thanks for watching, and, well, that's all. Bye-bye.